The Treads and Misses of the 2017 Parade of Homes The 2017 Parade of Homes will be open until September 17th. If you haven't visited, head up I-71 to Cheshire Woods to soak in the latest home construction and interior design trends. Parade Overview The Parade of Homes subdivision is located at Cheshire Woods, approximately 15 miles north of Polaris near the new Tanger outlets. Cheshire Woods is close to I-71, so you can hear traffic noise when you are outside. There are only nine homes on display. Some prominent custom builders are missing, such as Bob Webb and Romanelli and Hughes. All nine parade homes are priced around $600,000, which is certainly more affordable than the million dollar homes we saw in previous years. The cost to attend is $15. You can get discounts if you buy online, if you are military or have a AAA membership. For details and to purchase tickets, visit www.biaparade.com. Parade of Home Trends First Floor Living Ranch style homes are coming back. Many buyers demand first floor bedrooms to avoid climbing stairs. Entertainment Rooms Every single home has a party room in the basement with full bars, pool tables, shuffle boards, and large TVs or movie screens. Huge Kitchen Islands It seems as kitchen islands are getting larger every year. They are the central part of a modern kitchen surrounded by commercial style appliances. Cabinet space on the other hand has been shrinking. Not sure where all the homeowners restore all their dishes, pots and pans. Barn style and mid-century. The exterior design of most homes resembles the popular barn style. We also saw a comeback of mid-century modern furniture and light fixtures. The former library. Remember the time when every upscale home had a library near the main entrance? This space still exists, but it has been repurposed. Most interior designers envision the library as a bourbon or wine tasting room for a small group of guests to hang out in a private space. Front porches. Most homes come with a front porch to give more opportunities to talk to neighbors. One home even features a cabbage patch in front of the house. What's missing in new homes? There's no outdoor living spaces. I was surprised by the small backyards and the lack of any significant patio or deck designs. This is quite different from the extensive outdoor living areas and walkout basements we saw in previous years. No high tech. Ohio builders aren't featuring any new technology in their homes. I did not see a single Nest thermostat or smoke detector. At the most, you could find it built-in speakers and intercoms, which have been around for 20 years. No sustainability features. You would expect that new homes display some green design features to improve sustainability. Unfortunately, local builders are satisfied with energy efficient appliances, furnaces, and standard wall insulation. Call or text Suzanne Novak at 614-975-9650 if you are interested in one of the parade homes. She was told many are still available and the builders are eager to make a deal. So if interested, Please contact Suzanne or head over to SuzanneNovak.com. Thank you for watching.